if you want to find out all of your vulnerabilities in a network and give you your CVS, CVSS scores and all of that stuff, then penetration, penetration. testing is for you. If you go to get a red team and you're expecting that same results, you're going mean, yeah, to be disappointed. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I think where they have their, their own individual strengths and merits are where they're also their weaknesses are. You know, in a red team, we're very focused. Yeah, I might make a note and you know provide you some information around, okay, when we were moving around, we saw X, Y, and Z, which you should probably patch up or sort out. Um, but I didn't directly exploit them because it might put my operation at risk. Whereas in a pen test, you know, you've, got, you've got five days, go mad, find everything you can, as wide as you can, run all the scans, shout as loud as you can. Um, so there, the, I think the primary trade-offs and, and, and probably negative points of each, um, you know, penetration testing, vast amounts of information spread across your entire network, prioritizing it can sometimes be quite hard. Mm. Red teaming, considerably more focused, aims to deliver prioritization because you can clearly see, actually, if I don't fix these three things in this attack chain, then, you know, my entire organization might be at risk. Mm. So it gives you better prioritization, probably more focused information. Yeah, it's um, more targeted and it's, if we're not, I suppose if an organization understands where its risks are, mm -hmm. then it's good from that point of view. Yeah. Um, whereas if, if an organization hasn't really thought about that, then, yeah. then that's going to be more difficult, as you say, where you have to coach them into finding out where the risk is. Yeah. Where the risk is.